never could decide which fella was the fella I should marry. And when I come to thirty and still was not a bride, my pappy got a little arbitrary. He took things into his own hands without consulting me. Oh, Mammy dear, almost had a conniption. He sent my picture to a matrimonial agency, along with a flattering description. Catalog woman, that's how they know me, out in Missouri and Oklahoma. There's lots worse things a gal can be than a catalog woman. Right soon there came a letter written mighty fine from a fella with a homestead in Missouri. He sounded so much better than any friend of mine. Couldn't think it was all quite hunky dory. He had a thousand acres, chickens, sheep, and cows. What he needed was a woman on the place. He loved as how he'd like a gal like me to be his spouse, and how he'd like to meet me face to face. Catalog woman, that's how they know me out in Missouri. Oklahoma. There's lots worse things a gal can be than a catalog woman. So I went out to Missouri and found the man who wrote. He was even better than the letter stated. He was big and strong as fury, and the heart beneath his coat. Was solid gold. It wasn't even plated. He said I was as welcome as a rainbow in a fog, and he made it known I was not to be taunted. He said that he was proud he got me from a catalog. That way a man could order what he wanted. Catalog woman, that's how they know me out in Missouri and Oklahoma. There's lots worse things a gal can be than a catalog woman. So now I have a carriage and hanging on the line are seven cotton petticoats each Monday. There couldn't be a marriage any happier than mine, and a preacher comes to dine most every Sunday. And if sometimes in sewing circle ladies congregate and whisper things in back of the portieres, I manage to get in a light where I can agitate. The diamonds that are hanging in my ears. Catalog woman, that's how they know me out in Missouri and Oklahoma. There's lots worse things a gal can be than a cat.